I guess we all kind of have this uh, you know, affection for the for the telescope and what it does and the engineering wonder that it is. It's, a, it's an amazing machine. I think it's the greatest scientific instrument ever built. It can fly at 17,500 miles an hour around our planet, but hold its gaze on the universe so accurately it's like taking a laser pointer from the Empire State Building here in New York and being able to hit a dime on the Washington Monument. It was built and designed to be serviced by astronauts and by the space shuttle. You know, the size of the telescope was dictated by the size of the payload bay. You know, and the, the altitude of it was dictated by the altitude that the, that the shuttle could, could reach. It was designed uh, so that spacewalking astronauts could work on it. It's got handrails all over the place and it's got interfaces, which means things we can open up uh, with our tools, with our power tools, with wrenches. We can open up the doors and get access to the instruments. The instruments were made with handrails so that we can pull them out and put a replacement in. Everything's labeled so you can easily see what's, what, what you're working on. Uh, the different connectors had numbers and diagrams on the telescope itself. So it was designed with the idea that it was gonna be upgraded. And I don't think they knew exactly what all those upgrades meant. In fact, they didn't. We had to get creative as things broke that we didn't expect. We had to come up with new ways to, to fix the telescope. And for example, I was out there with my good. The bottom screw was stripped. The handrail needed to be removed to get access to a to an access panel to, to replace a power supply. But there was one stubborn screw that wanted to come out. That wasn't that wasn't a very good feeling. It was pretty bad there for about an hour and a half until the solution came up. The solution was just pull the handrail off, and that's uh, that's what I did. And then the actual handrail is here. And I'm glad it's here and not still on the telescope because if it was, that means we couldn't have repaired the instrument that day. Kind of break the telescope in order to fix it, but after we, after that handrail was broken off, it, it worked. The rest of the space went pretty well. There's a lot of creative work that went on uh, because this telescope was designed to, to be serviced by, by the shuttle. And lucky it was, or else it wouldn't have lasted as long as, long as it has.